What's up guys, that Kid Prince here, bringing you another Black Ops 2 gameplay commentary. And if you're seeing this, then it means that Kubris has let me post on his channel for the subscriber upload. Um, and saying so, that just makes me feel so, so happy. Um, I'm honored to be able to do this. Um, it's definitely amazing. Um, yeah, so, and what this is, is 119.0 on the map raid. You know, only use me raid. Um, I'm using the PDW. The class setup is on screen right now, and if you like that, that's something I like to implement in all my videos. So, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, you should definitely try this class setup out. It's the standard hardline ghost, scavenger, and dexterity, and then with the cap 40, and then C4. So, yeah. The only thing different about this, however, is the class setup or the gun setup I'm using. I'm using the PDW with silencer and grip. Um, probably one of my favorites. Haven't seen many other. People use this kind of setup. Um, the reason I like it is because the PDW has a little bit of recoil, and at those kind of long ranges, it's kind of shaky, I guess you could say. Um, and so what this does is it allows you to pick off the head glitches as you have no recoil, and it lets you pretty much win those long range gunfights, and it lets your accuracy be way higher. So yeah, you should definitely check that out. Um, try and use it yourself. Maybe you don't like it, maybe you do. And also another good setup for this gun is the stock and suppressor. Um, definitely another good one. The stock allows you to weave in a lot of the enemies, um, let you try and get some of those double, triple feeds, um, like you could in Modern Warfare, running and gunning with the MP7. That's pretty amazing. Um, and so for the gameplay, what I'm doing right now is I'm pretty much just staying in the C-spawn area, just trying to pick off the little stragglers that are trying to cap the C-flag. Um, so yeah, what I'm showing you right now is just a little, little how to way to kind of rush the spawn. I try and go back and forth, um, and right here, just that was the end of that little streak. And I'm showing you one. Um, so in all my videos, I like to just try and break the video into like the the three like the streaks I go on. Like if I get three sets of dog, uh, load star dog swarm, I'll show all three of those, um, and probably cut out like the first couple load stars because they're pretty boring to watch. Just somebody sitting a load star. And so previously, in most of my uh, gameplays I upload, I like to usually use Dogs, Swarm, and VSAT, um, just because I like to rush around a little bit more. And I feel like when I'm running this score streak setup, uh, I camp a lot. So and maybe if you are running VSAT Dog Swarm and you're struggling to get the 100 plus, maybe put on the Load Star, and it definitely helps out a lot. Um, just I think if you get a couple sets of these streaks and they go to work, then you can easily get 100 plus. Like maybe if you get three you can drop like 140 150 kill game maybe not maybe 120 kill game but it doesn't matter that's if you're looking at 100 plus i recommend you do that and right here i just got out of my load star and already i i get another one and this is a perfect example on how you can filter through your kill streaks and all this kind of stuff and so yeah i just wanted to show this load star just because this is the one that pushes me over the boundary of getting the 100 plus um and getting me to that 119 kills and so once again, I just want to thank Cool Breeze for allowing me to post on his channel. It definitely means a lot. Um, if you enjoy this video, hopefully you can go ahead and check me out. Um, and right here, you see my dog just saved my life. The guy nearly killed me with like 30 seconds in the game and cost me the flawless. So hope you enjoy this. Remember to like and subscribe. Um, it's been your boy, That Kid Prince. And uh, I'm out. Peace.